These are tubins. They learn traditional music, but they are also unconventional and stylish young men. Legend has it that Kanas Lake is the eye of Monga Tengri, the Mongolian god. The Tuvans who guard this lake are the smallest Mongolian tribe, with a population of less than 3,000 across China. Most of them live in three villages: Kanas, Hemu, and Baihaba. In this peaceful and tranquil village of Kanas, however, things are changing quietly. Home visit programs provide a way for Tuvans to showcase their lifestyle and culture to tourists. Having entered the log cabin, tourists taste traditional Tuvan food and drink the milk wine offered by the host, enjoying a show of traditional Tuvan music and dance. Dailike and his partners are very busy. These young Tuvans are already familiar with and well adapted to their new lifestyle shaped by the local tourism development. Dailike is truly an art lover. He is good at playing both local and Western musical instruments, but core is his favorite. We Mongols are very fond of nature. We are Core is listed as China's national intangible cultural heritage, and Dailike's teacher Meng Kaiyi is accredited as its inheritor. Using Ku Mei throat singing, he is playing the waves of Kanas Lake with the simple core, which produces true sounds of nature, striking a deep chord with the listeners. Core has existed for almost a thousand years, but now no more than ten people can play it in China. 我的音乐梦想就是学好初二，让它流传下去。但在现代社会，要想把它流传和推广，我觉得需要和其他的乐器、其他的音乐融合起来。For this purpose, Dailike and some of his friends formed the Hanta Band at this Ovu a few years ago. With the combination of kor, mooring kor, and guitar, they play popular songs that feature ethnic and native styles on both home visits and performing tours. During the Ovu Worship Festival. One of the most important Tuvan events, and a large gathering of all villagers, young Tuvans like Dailik are fully engaged in the thousand-year-long traditional celebration. <laughs>